Big thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Hi, I'm Bounty Hunter, Baba D. Flat. Holy fuck! I'm gonna several drinks in me. It's not wise to piss off a drunk old Jedi. It's about the equivalent of medium shield. I like my boons. There's still Sif out there. If you don't think so, then you're wrong. Cooking with fatty. Need salad. Ah! You're funny if you think you could take mine from me. What is going full force? That is where, and the way I define it, someone is treating it as if they're about to die and they are putting everything behind it. Back in April, I flew out to Battle Creek, Michigan to meet a fellow YouTuber that goes by the name of Airsoft Fatty. I'm sure you guys have seen some of his videos. His most popular ones are Fortnite Chug Jug Challenge <laughs> and When Lightsaber Dueling Goes Horribly Wrong, Watch Till the End. Oh, I think I just shit myself. Airsoft Fatty makes a wide variety of content. What you'll need is some turkey or sandwich meat and hot dogs. One day he will upload meat salad. The next day he'll upload cranberries zombie cover practice one. Oh, 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 hey, hey, hey. There is nothing that's off limits for Fatty to upload uh, with the exception of like, uh, I was gonna say weight loss, but he's even uploaded weight loss stuff. Yeah, 17. Oh, let's go. Where we are? <laughs> this guy's unstoppable. <laughs> I was kind of curious about Fatty's life. You know, I'd seen his videos for so long. I wanted to know if he was playing a character. I wanted to know what he's like off camera, what he's like around his friends and family, what his eating habits are. I like my noodles to be a little dry. I wanted to know all that I could learn about Airsoft Fatty, and I think the best way of doing that was going directly to the source. It feels like the name suits it because I've only seen like, like I've seen a, a lot of army vehicles and a lot of roadkill, so it feels like a battle creek. All right, we're court, we're we're calling Chris, aka Airsoft Fatty. Hey, this is Commander Six of the Seventh uh, Regiment of the Rebellion. It is day number three sixty five here on Crotosis and. We need reinforcements. If you can leave a name, a number, and a message, I'll do my best to get a hold of you. Hopefully it's not in a firefight that happens, but uh, keep it real. Peace. Record your message after the tone. Hey, Chris, it's Ian. Uh, call me back when you get this. Yeah. Something about Kratosis? <laughs> what was that? Now we, uh, we wait for his response so that we have an extra level of permission to come over. Hey, this is Commander Six of the 7th uh, Regiment of the Rebellion. <laughs> well, I guess we could just show up. I, I told him that we'd be coming, so let's just drive over there. As we were driving to Fatty's house, I fully expected us to just park on the side of the road, knock on his door, and have him greet us. Oh, I dubs, great to see you, man. How's it going? But it didn't go like that. It, it went quite a bit scarier than that. We are here. <laughs> oh my. Those are the boys. Fuck. That is, I've, I've never felt more uncomfortable in my life. Yeah? Best idea you could possibly choose. You got people that come up here like 50 miles an hour. All right, I'll do that. Yep. Keep that engine going. What I assumed to be Fatty's friends at the time uh, welcomed us, showered us with welcoming gifts uh, featuring beer, Fago, and weenies. 
if you can call any of that welcoming gifts. I mean, it's, it seems a lot like more like foreplay for Juggalo than it does a welcome to Michigan sort of gift. But I could be wrong. Welcome to the state where Kellogg's comes you from. It's a lot of gun. I wanted to talk to Fatty on the first day, but his friends would not allow that. They were asking me all sorts of questions about Filthy Frank and PewDiePie and all this sort of shit. How's it Felix in real life? Uh, I think, is he shorter I think than I, I think he is? Yes. I had to just endure it. I had to function as the autism magnet. And me, Aaron, and him are autistic. While Dane and Ben got footage of Fatty and asked Fatty questions as he toured them around the property. Lights to work here. Some paint trash over there. Two MG midgets. Midgets? Grandfather left me this one. Left me at the red one. The worst comes to worse. So to someone who will give them the beauty treatment and start using the shows. And then of course you got the jet ski. When's the last time you took the jet ski out? Well, it's not, it hasn't had a good start since my day. Hasn't been started since 99, is that what you said? It hasn't been started since 99. <laughs> and technically that is an outlawed model. An outlawed model. There we go. I kind of figured I had this. Turns out Chris was more than willing to share his life with us as long as we'd let him. He simultaneously is able to sound like an old man who's reminiscing about the days past, while also having the imagination of a third grader who definitely just found a real life T-Rex fossil. What the fuck? The hell? Jesus. Treasure map? No. What? Yeah, my mom used to talk about how she had a <laughs> old codes for something big. Well, this is quilted stuff, okay. I just realized that now. <laughs> hmm. It's not paperwork, it's quilting stuff. Yeah. Okay. Now there's someone in the house who can enjoy this. Apparently it was up in the garage door. Yeah. This here is the old fruit cellar. What's the strategy with taking one of your shoes off? Uh, paperweight. That's literally it. <laughs> Thought maybe you were going down there. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Even if the tires weren't there, <laughs> it's basically a goddamn snake pit. Every year, breathing season, garter snakes are everywhere down there. Garter snakes? Pretty harmless snakes, right? Ooh. Michigan Blue Races, man, they'll chase you. They'll chase you. I know you. that for a fact. You've been chased by a blue? Yes. Bird? Me and my mother had the golf cart working. She started it. The snake comes out, starts chasing her. Yeah, she gets in the golf cart, ditches me all the way back there. I had to run the whole fucking wheel. Fatty won't shut up. He came in, he had both eyes infected. They got stuck between the toilet and the wall. Complete bullshit. He had some woman that looked like she was in her 300. I've got my mother who can pretty much vouch for a lot of things to talk about here. You know, if you ask him a question, he'll go to the moon and back with stories. And you can't stop him. But they have to first find a way to target it. And there's literally just about two feet straight away. And then just drop. You can try to cut in there and he's like, oh, that reminds me of a new story I gotta tell you. I thought them motherfuckers were demon horses. <laughs> and then because both marauding captains on the field caused what's called the marauding captain effect. Probably speaking gibberish for God's sake. Yeah, I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going down within five feet. My mother's trying to hold me down. My legs up in the air. Go on, Peanut, because when she was born, she was a peanut. That's where I almost got actually eaten by a T-Rex. Oh man, man oh man is Cheez-Its. You're looking at someone who can go days without pissing and shitting, and someone who can go about a whole day without drinking. Really? And I only drink from beer mugs. You only drink from beer mugs? Or shot glasses. You do shots of water? Later on, we decided to drive around and have Fatty give us a bit of a tour of the city, you know, let us know what hot spots or interesting features there were in Battle Creek. Uh, there weren't any. Not necessarily. There's your red roofs. Back there, you have your Knights Inn. You have your America's Best Quality Inn. Another Knights Inn over there. It was like just a shithole. And I'm not even afraid to say it, because everyone there calls it a shithole. Believe it or not, at least once every few months you will have drug buses going down the road from me over here at the motel. Drug buses? Yeah. What is that? 
you know, usual team, they got to call them when it's stuff like meth and cocaine. Oh, so they're the police? Yes, essentially. Okay. After hearing a bunch of fatty stories, we started to notice that he has this habit of opening the story with a, a line that is more interesting than the story itself. Yo, Chris, you wanna go to a big party? Well, the thing is, think about Put it. Put the gun away. Put the beanies back. I'm shaking. And I looked at him and I was like, I've never been to really any kind of party. Holding my mother as I'm putting the fire up on the stove. I'm one of the only guys that's got a race minivan. You're like, dude, it's like a Project X style party. Let's go. Girl, she's like burnt. So instead of just cutting to the chase about how his engine blew out after he didn't change the oil, he'll open it with, I learned the hard way that you get your oil checked every few months. Now I, I, now I must inquire and hear this awesome story. You learned the hard way. Please. I had a 98 Ford Explorer and you just hear, <laughs> and then it just stop. Cuts off, I've got my blinkers on, I'm in the other lane. Got people past me, what's your problem? I'm like, oh, geez, I'm burnt. So this is something I don't get. Why the fuck they put a stop sign right here? Would you ever consider like becoming like a mayor or some sort of city official or something to try and make some sort like of change? I don't feel like I'd have the skill to do so. You don't think so? Nah, I'm not a very good people's person. I have a tendency to get stage fright. You know, crazy enough I do videos, gotta get stage fright. That's the weird thing. A lot of stuff I do contradicts what I actually feel. But yeah, there's even times, like I said, where it's people I should know by heart. I even panic around, you know? <coughs> oh, man. Be honest with you, I couldn't hurt a fly. You wouldn't hurt a fly? I couldn't. Not even wouldn't. I couldn't. You can't catch one. There were a couple moments where Fatty and his group of friends would mention this place called Meyer. This South here Carolina. is Meyer. the Meyer. And I, I just thought it was a gas station. But they reminded me, like, no, this is not a gas station. This is so much more than that. And I was like, shit, all right, we're, we're really going somewhere. Um, it's just like a, sh like a slightly better Walmart. We learned a lot of useful stuff on our shopping trip. I can do stuff like Cleveland Brown. Hey, got me, Cleveland Brown. Uh, got stuff like Elmo. Elmo says, Elmo says, we need to take another look at their to be honest, I don't know what the hell Fatty was saying throughout the day because I wasn't with him. You know, I was I was around these guys. Autistic. So I, you know, if you want me to give commentary on this part, I can't. I can, I'm just gonna tell you it from my perspective, okay? Yeah, there was this guy we met. Uh, oh wait, are you still talking? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It was the day was shitty. <laughs> yeah. Um, first day was way too much for me. I'm in great pain. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. What was that? She just hit something. <laughs> what did you hit? Uh, looks good. Yeah, it's fine. All right. This thing's. Was this thing tilted before? <laughs> okay, calm down. Calm down. I'll be able to get out of here just fine. <laughs> I feel like we're escaping. I'm like afraid I'm gonna run over a cat. Like for a minute there, I was, I was expecting one of them to like, sort of, I, I, autistically like go behind and like wave me through, but I run them over. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm quite thankful that it was just a light post <laughs> and not yeah, a human yeah. being or a cat. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> On day two, we were finally able to get Fatty alone and have him answer some of our burning questions. All right, tits or ass? Ass. Star Wars is a big part of Fatty's channel, so I, I thought it was very important that we ask him a lot of questions about why he likes it and why he feels comfortable swinging around a bit of plastic in his front yard. The Star Wars ones, I fall in love with because I can easily just slip into the lore. I do not expect failure from my hirees. And I also understand when bullcrap gets set up by Disney. Mickey Mouse, woo! What's, uh, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Oh, that's a good question. Revenge of the Sith, very easily, purely for the Obi-Wan versus Anakin duel. Beautiful cinematography. It just, it made more sense. It was Star Wars back then. I met him at school when we were going together. And so we started hanging out and he told me about his YouTube channel and he needed a little help and well, once in a while. 
So I volunteered, said why not, didn't have anything going on. A couple of videos down the line and we made the notorious one where he trips over there by the trash can. Oh, are you good, bro? Ever since then, he's always hitting me up, asking for help with videos and other stuff. You were the camera guy for the oh, yeah. one? A lot of them. Okay. For a good majority of so them. So you're the guy behind the camera most of yeah. the time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mike is a very interesting guy. He didn't give any indication of care about what the fuck we were doing the whole time. You know, he was there for Fatty. And that's how I sort of got the idea that this is one of Fatty's actual friends. Every time we hang out, it's either talking about doing a video or doing the videos. So it's nice. it's kind of like a weird production hangout kind of thing, I guess. Yeah. Mike is also a bit of a pyromaniac. There were several occasions where he made fires without anyone's consent. I still don't know what Mike sees in those flames. So you're not as into Star Wars as... No, not as really. Robert. I mean, with them, they're more of, um, they're hyper into it, I guess you could say. For me, it'd be stuff like Harry Potter, but I don't mind it one bit. Yeah. You know, I can get into it any day, any time. The Force is a weak institution under your side. Are you embarrassed at all by the videos you upload? Not exactly, no. Are you embarrassed by... I don't know, being into Star Wars as much as you are being a 22 year old. Now I've got my lightsabers, man. Why make a big deal out of loving something that people are gonna hate me for loving? So what, I'm a nerd. I like Star Wars. Holy crap. You have broken several laws of the new Republic water. Would hear my sentence to death. How do you plead? Trial by combat. And the Force shall have it. Drugs couldn't be given to you. Death snakes that ain't gonna read all of it. Strong, now you're missing the finger. Did it actually cut open again? Wait, yeah, so what happened? Sorry, I didn't catch it. What happened? Got me in the thumb downwards. Split open a cut and cracked the inside of that. It fucking hurt. So would you say that was full force? No. That's not even 20%. Woohoo! Good job! Woo! Good job, Bobby de Black! We asked for a tour around his house, and at first I was expecting an uncultured mess. But after experiencing the tour, I changed my mind. You start by entering the house through the main hall. From there, you can stop by the dining area, or you can visit one of the many restrooms to wash up before supper. Boom. 
<laughs> Just a few steps away, you can relax and soak up some rays in the sunroom. Jesus! Wish Mother would remind me to bring the vacuum, not to use it. Damn, this is bad. What do you call this room? I used to call this my smoke room for a bit. And then it kind of got turned into a random shit room. Then it became the cat room, and every so often Mother and Grandma tend to these litter boxes. They don't tell me when they need the vacuum. This is bad. I'm disappointed right now. I wish Mother would have told me this needed done today. Yeah, like I said, I am not proud of this. Careful! Yeah, oh. I am not happy right now. Dear fucking Lord, dear Lord. Oh my God. Ooh. This is the one time I'm actually ticked at my mother for this. Because I asked her, I said, hey, before anyone comes over this morning, the boxes need clean, what hell needs to happen? I'll go dance in the grass a little. <laughs> but if books are more your speed, you can get lost in the sprawling bookshelves of the library. Downstairs, you have the project room. Yep. And here's the project room where we used this to... This looks like the rape dungeon. This here is where we used to keep some of the cats. And oof, it got hard. What? Just <laughs> right right um. Yeah, this is the worst part of the basement. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This was... You can get a shot of that. <clears throat> yeah, it's not fun. That is, <laughs> this is not this is not a part of the house I'm actually proud of. Yeah, I get you, I get you. I do but like it's just a work in progress. Like oh yeah, said. I plan to get everything done. Like I said, work in progress. Is, this is literally years. That's all it is. Oh, is this Sonic? Popsicle oh, is going to jump through that. I'm telling you. Yeah. That actually, oh, we had to... Popsicle's going! <laughs> yeah! Oh. <laughs> if you walk upstairs, you'll find the lounge which is the most popular place on the estate to enjoy some me time. If you're looking for an adventure, the backyard might be the place for you. It's time to hit the mud. So what was your first impression of Chris when you met him? Big goofball, to be honest. Ooh! Oh yeah, just wait till you get her slightly lifted and get her some better shots! Oh hell yeah, I'm turning this bad boy into an off road machine! This! This car racing. I have a bit of a thing I want to do with it. I want to get an upgraded engine in it, a new fuel injection system, get some nice tires on there, and then finally get her a paint job. It's all behind you, throw that ass, girl! Came to house. It's a lot bigger than mine, that's for sure. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice that the house is pretty run down. It, it doesn't look good, and when you go there, it doesn't smell good. It is very jarring. Cool. That's epic. And uh, I wanted to know why the hell the house was in the condition that it's in. Uh, so over the years, it's just kind of 
gone downhill. Especially after father passed away, we didn't have funds to sit there and just get every major repair we needed. So it looks very ugly right now. We're just now getting to a point where we can afford to get the downstairs ceiling done. It takes a few months for us just to save up for a small repair like that. As horrible as the house looks right now, this was not the original look. My grandfather back in the I didn't really get a satisfying answer about the house from Chris, so I decided to ask the owner of the house, Chris's mom. The whole house can pay tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't care. <laughs> what do you love about Chris? Really he's mine. Yeah. I don't know. I just he's a sweetheart. He really is. He's got his moments. I'm not gonna say he's perfect because he is not far from it. Chris's mom has a lot of cats. I think it's about 30 from what I've been told, and uh, I think that's where most of the smell comes from. Her favorite cat is a one-eyed cat with a pink dress named Preston. Hop in the good girl. <laughs> She's spoiled. Do you have her ice cream cone? I'm getting it ready, mother. And only eats birthday cake ice cream from Myers. Man, Get her ice out. cream. Oh, bowl. There's some food in it. Get her an ice cream cone. Uh -huh. You have to sit and hold the cone for her. Literally, this uh -huh. And she will eat the ice cream when she gets down to the end of the cone. <coughs> you have to bite what the cone around so that she can get to the ice cream again. That's unique. Christopher, didn't you find any more blue in there? She likes the frosting the best. Uh, I'm trying to compose myself. I've never been around so many cats. We interrupt this scene to bring you this message from our sponsor, Raycon. You see, Raycon was the company that had the cajones to sponsor this video. This video took a lot of work to make, but we really enjoyed making it and we want to make a lot more. One of the best ways that you guys can help us make sure that our goal is reached is by supporting our sponsors, Raycon Earbuds. You, you may have noticed that I've been wearing these the whole time. That's because I'm free to move around because there are no wires. They're wireless. Hello, hello. On top of that, the sound quality is good, and they're half the price of other earbuds. Yeah, your jaw just dropped to the floor. But in all seriousness, if you are in the market for some earbuds, these are a very affordable option, so go down in the description. You can hit my iDubs link, and you can go to that website, which will give you the good, affordable scoop. I want to emphasize that this is not lip service. If you get to the end of this video, and you like what you saw, please consider getting a pair of Raycons because that's really going to help us moving forward because we'll be able to get more sponsors, we'll be able to keep doing it. And I want to keep doing it. I really badly want to keep doing it because it was a lot of fun and there's a lot of, there's a lot of kooky characters out there in the world that I'm itching to put a camera in front of. Hit it up. Back to the reg regularly scheduled program. Fatty was very honest with us about his weight, though we didn't always see eye to eye on what was the problem. I'm honest with myself, I'm a large guy. If it doesn't change, I'm gonna die soon, flat out. Being a little over 400 pounds is not normal. Weighing four men is not normal. Yeah, he's 11 days old there, and they say it's a pituitary gland problem. I instantly cling to food and Within a matter of about a year, I was around 380. Going from around 260 to 380 is not fun. It's not at all. I used to eat like a full gallon ice cream. Lately, I've been making good strides, though. I've kicked fast food out of that completely. Caffeine as well. Christopher has lost 100 pounds over this last year and a half, just by himself. He's gonna exercise without realizing he's getting exercise. Because they'll play out there for a couple hours at a time. And if you say, hey, Chris, let's go out walking for a couple hours, forget it. Wait, so what about, like, you say caffeine. Do you yeah, mean, caffeine doesn't like, really affect your weight. I know, but I had to kick that because it was... My kryptonite back when I was doing it was venom. Black cherry kiwi. Because I used to sit there and get like three of them at a time. And I'd sit there and go, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to drink all these. Of course, half hour later, I'm down to my third one. What was your first impression of Chris and his weight? Did it bother you at all? Or? No. No, I've always had uh, family members that were on the heftier side, I could say. So it wasn't really that much of an issue for me personally. He just fit right in as far as my friend group went. Just odd squad family, really. Hey, would you look at that? Fuck's sake, a little bit of cat hair. Best food on earth. Oh my god, hands down. Fuck. That's a tough one, really. Steak. Steak? Yeah, just 
I stole like four on steak. We are making the steak. She's been beautifully marinated. You ever tried quinoa? Nope. <laughs> Why does that sound like a martial arts form? <laughs> you will learn to master the arts of quinoa. I asked Chris if he could give us a rundown on how he produces one of his Cooking with Fatty videos, which are very popular, and he agreed to it. So here is an exclusive, never-before-seen look at Cooking with Fatty, behind the scenes. You're welcome. You guys that come here? I'm like, okay, I always gotta have your protein. Yep, throw it in. You grab your own, I think we choose chicken. Simple, easy. A lot of people have Is there a light in here? Yeah, they're all on right now. Oh, I mean in the kitchen. They're all on. Over there's it. Oh, okay. Then, of course, you start the recording. So do you usually put a, like a GoPro on your head to give yeah, them a- Yeah, GoPro or I hold the phone. Well, welcome to Cooking with Daddy Life Hacks. We're here today to make some rounds. We're gonna make this kind of good. Because, well, feeling good in the neighborhood. And of course your boss recording. So what you wanna do first, get that water boiling like everyone knows you gotta do. So I might even come up with a title as I'm going through here. Um, what I'm thinking right now is like, college food heck cooking with fatty, uh, under $5 meal. And of course you gotta come back and check every so often. Looks like we're getting to that boiling point soon. I don't, I don't, I used to be, I used to never, uh, put in so much work into a video. Usually it was like, the idea's out there, let's chase it. Now I've got that spark to really put time into a video. So when it comes to Nuggies versus Tendies, you're more of a Nuggies kind of guy. Oh, hell yeah. You gotta have all your love for your Nuggies out there. Came <laughs> <laughs> out so wrong. Welcome back, we had to restart the video for a second there because I messed up. However, so we'll take a plate, drain that out. You know, I just feel a little heat. You take, you know, oof. Get out of the kitchen. Shit. Oops. Go. Drop it up. Yeah. Alright. Try to swing these noodles to the board. Yeah. Alright. Noodle lives matter. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you probably don't think about this much, but a TV dinner and a pack of ramen. Not always the worst combination. You want to scrape in that barbecue. What are you doing? Getting the barbecue off the phone. Got some stuck on it when I was on the thing. Now, you just take all that dirt in it and go crazy like Katrina. And then of course, Fatty always says, clean up after yourselves. Of course, stop the recording there, and then I wait. It's really just a typical day here recording a cooking with Fatty. Eventually, though, let's get into gourmet. Because after all, when you say it French, makes it better. Would you say you like you exaggerate a bit, like your stories, or not? No. no? I, I do my best to try to keep it as an open book as possible. Like. It's like I say, why, why go out and just lie? Yeah, I mean, it's not about lying, it's just like... No, nah, but everything we're talking about, it is, it's all happened. Chris has a lot of stories, you know, he's very much a talker. Oh, yeah. I guess for, for someone who's a bit skeptical, it's like... I don't blame people who are. Right, right. He's got a little bit of, like, flack online for some of his stories, because he'll exaggerate some things. Oh, yes, he does. I feel like I've, I've gone places, I've done a decent amount of things. Yeah. But, like, I don't have, like, nearly the amount of, like, stories that you have. Why? Oh. Now, up until this point, we've spoken to most of the major people in Airsoft Fatty's life. Except for one. This gentleman here. Robert is Chris's now ex-friend, who he's lightsaber dueling or hanging out with in most of his videos. Robert, he... He literally will go full force every time. I've only ever used like 40% of my strength on him, ever. What's, 
Swiper! He seems maybe a bit uh, more aggressive when it comes to the lightsaber duels. I am. Ah! Yeah. They've recently stopped speaking to one another because of some dispute with an airsoft gun, but uh, that's why we didn't see Robert for the first few days we were there, is because we sort of arrived in Michigan in the middle of this Cold War. Robert has a lot of issues. I don't believe he's on his medication. He has violent tendencies. I would not be surprised if one day I did not find out that he has killed somebody. When we showed up in Battle Creek, we thought we were going to be able to film Fatty and Robert dueling all the time, interacting with each other, but that just wasn't the case. But I was determined. I was determined to get Fatty and Robert to duel each other, because that is some of my favorite content on Fatty's channel. I wanted to see it. I wanted to effing see it. So you're, there's no way that you'll... No, he... He literally is going full force. He literally treats it as if he's on an actual battlefield about to die. Right. Every time. I try what to talk a, to okay, him. Okay, so maybe not from a friendly standpoint. What about... You don't have to interact with Robert in any way. We pick him up. We bring him here. Or a uh, neutral zone, perhaps. Uh, and It'd be a lot better for a neutral zone. And if it's... comes back and sees him, right. just call the police. And it's only... A duel. It still would be a no. And I wouldn't suggest you duel him either because he will hurt you. He has hit me so hard in the back of the head with sabers and has literally knocked me out. He's been told, there's that divot. That's not fused right. You keep hitting me full force back there. You're going to kill me, Robert. He had me in a video where I literally blacked out. The rest in peace, bitch. Like, I will fuck, I will do the dialogue with you. I'll fucking go out there and do the dialogue the with you. Dane probably series. would. Very quick, no more than five minutes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go up to Robert's fucking door. I'm scared. <laughs> Found me. Hey Robert, how you doing? <laughs> do, uh, do you have time for an interview? Yeah, I'm currently watching Dog, but yeah. <sighs> yeah? Yeah. Is she gonna keep barking? She just looking at me with her tongue out. All right, you know what? Yeah. Stupid dog. You Uncle Robert of little pooch. Get in there. At this point, Robert had completely fucked the mic. I don't know how he did it. He just took his dog inside and the whole unit is just trashed. It's not like the, the, the plug just pulled out. The whole thing just doesn't work. Uh, but thankfully, Ben did record audio on his phone, so we do have some usable audio for the Robert interview. Uh, do you have any weapons on you now? Is that this one? Yeah. No. The Robert interview was a complete mess. So I think we're just gonna have to show you it in pretty much its entirety because there's very, there's a lot of moments. So yeah. What's good about having Fatty as a friend? Or what was good about having him as a friend? I had fun kicking his ass in every white saber when we filmed. <laughs> when it comes to YouTube, being friends is out the window and I just wanna kick his ass. <laughs> what would you say is a real negative thing about having Fatty as a friend? He's an ass. Then again, so am I. So I can't really say shit. <laughs> What's your opinion on Fatty's house? Like, the condition of it and just like... It looks like crap. Need I say more? I mean, you were just there Sunday. Need I say more? Hey, Robert! What pisses you off the most about Fatty? The fact that he treats me like crap whenever we're off camera. How does he treat you like crap? Uh, it's a long list. You sure want me to get into it? Yeah, <laughs> just rattle them off. Just list Top them off five. real quick. Top five. Take as much time That's as you need. Nothing mentioned. I don't really keep a list. No. Just any. Anything. Off, he, anything you can think of. It doesn't have to be top ten. It could just be anything. 
Well, usually just after we're done, he just ends up going upstairs smoking and doesn't really hang with me to, to the point where I'm just playing video games and always getting high as fuck next to me. Okay, what else? Well, if you've seen some of his videos, you get the gist. Yeah, but like you, you said that there's like a long list of like the things that he's done that, you know, pisses you off. Like, so far we've only heard one, which is, like, he kind of ignores you for the bong. Is there anything else? Because it, it seems like you're struggling to come up with, like, other... Well, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Okay, Like Fine. I said, I don't really yeah. keep a list. Okay, I get you. I get you. You're still hitting full force, dude! That's what that was The agreement was you stop! If I had had to leave swung full force, his hand, every bone in his hand would have been shattered. Those were love taps. He may claim they were all full force, but that wasn't even close. I will admit, he has gotten strong over the past year and a half. I mean, he's gotta be pretty strong carrying all that fat around, I mean. What do you like about Star Wars? The fights, obviously, the fight scenes. The fight scenes, the action scenes. I'm a, weapon, I'm a weapons guy. Of course I like the fight scenes. Okay. I mean, uh, the fact that I'm making a homemade spear should say, should say enough. You know how hard it is to find a perfectly straight stick in the middle of the woods? You found that? Yo, you don't believe in Force? I don't believe in the Force. Apparently, Chris seems to think he's a real Jedi. I I think that's bullshit. Chris is a fanatic. I, I, just, I just watched the Star Wars movie for the fight scenes. What's your favorite fight scene? What's your favorite scene from Star Wars? Probably Anakin vs. Obi Wan at the end of uh, Revenge of the Sith. Why do you play with lightsabers at your age? I have several real blades, but Chris doesn't want to spar with those. Right, but like, you can understand why he wouldn't want to spar with real blades, because you might lose. Yeah, but it would make, but it would make it more interesting. I'm pretty sure we'd be able to make several viral videos out of that. Would you spar with someone using real blades? I've done it before. Oh, where? When was that? Years back, I think middle of Arizona. Middle of Arizona. Who do you did know you what spar with? Who was that? I can't. I didn't get his name. It was just a random guy. Yeah, a random dude who was foolish enough to call me out. And you sparred with him. With uh, with a real blade. It didn't end well for him. So is he alive? Maybe. Again, if I die, the world's the world's done, and well, if I die, the world's automatically fucked, so there's that. If I die, the world is fucked. What does that mean? Oh. That's a long story. About ugh, six or seven years ago, I blacked out and learned something about myself that I really can't state on you. Can you can you summarize it in a PG way? Not really. It has to do with heaven and hell, not really. It's PG? That's not PG. I blacked out. I don't have any memories from during that time. All I know is flames and insane laughter. Well, like, how do you know the world's fucked then? Yeah, what does it have to do with the statement the world's because fucked Because the laughter wasn't my own. Oh, okay, so someone else is gonna fuck over the world. It's not you. Well, it's me, just a different side of me. Oh, okay, so you're talking about your demon. Oh. Um, yeah. Exactly. Uh, what's your demon's name? I can't translate it in human, but he's saying to call him some, calling himself Death. Oh, well, Hence you, the reason you, I said the world's fucked if I die. Well, you don't need to translate it to human, just say it how like, you would say it it's in demonic. language. It's demonic. Yeah. It can't be spoken. Okay, well, With why? this... Oh, because you're... Set up. Oh, you have the wrong set of tools here. Yeah. You need demon mouth. That huh. human anatomy is not able to speak in demonic. I That's just you. the... I get you. It would sense. be faking it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Did you have another one? Yeah, uh... Why did you give out Fatty's information on that group Because I'm chat? pissed off. Okay. Don't you think that's a little rude, though? And in, like, you would an want asshole. your asshole. Huh? For one, I put my information out on, on the about section of my YouTube channel. I don't care who knows where I live. Yeah, but you're not fatty. Like, just because you're okay with that doesn't mean he's okay with that. 
Yeah, and then he asked me to stop after after that, and I haven't given out his information since, despite what he thinks. Okay, but do you think that was like a lesson learned on your part? Like you're you not f- going to do that again? Yeah, do you feel bad else? about that? I might feel bad about it, but I'm not going to admit to it. Okay, well, okay. kind of. Did you tell people to like come attack him or something? No, I did not say that directly. I just said, "Don't get yourself at me because we're no longer friends." Oh, okay. And then the fans took it a step further and actually threatened the Mazel Tov cocktail his house and beat his and beat and beat up and go his mom. I didn't tell him to do that. They did it themselves. Yeah, but do you condemn it? I thought it was interesting. The fact that my fans would really go that far. I mean, damn. But would you want them to go that far? Not unless I really wanted them dead. No. How far would he have to go? Probably in front of my family. Okay. At, at that That's point, I'll, I, at that point, I'll, I'll, I'll hold her off, and I will, and I will end them myself. No one was in character. Fatty was Fatty. Robert was Robert. No spoils to the victor, and no fair maiden was to be impressed. This was a final duel. What we're, we're doing here is we're gonna go with Fatty's rules of if you get, you know, a hand hit, that hand is disabled, you can continue and with whatever means you want, you know, you can toss it, you can use the force, whatever you think you can do, <laughs> go ahead and do it. I remember, we're, we're doing this for fun. We're doing this for fun. This is it's just for the camera, so don't. Yeah, don't, don't, don't yeah, don't kill each other. Oh, well, you ain't gonna do anything now? No, I, no, that just wasn't. You used to play vicious? That just, that just wasn't close enough for me to, to, for me to react. Okay, no, that one was. You want me to play vicious? I'll play vicious. Ah, fuck. Like I said, you want me to play vicious? I'll play vicious. <laughs> During the duel, all I could think of was. Is this entertaining? What am I watching? Why am I involved in this at all? Why am I filming this? Right. Both hands are disabled, dude. Right arm right about here. That's this one has my first okay. straight pad budding. Bring it. <laughs> There was a point where you could tell that, like, no one except for Robert was having any fun at all. So it was just uncomfortable. Right. Did you see that slash at the end? It was one quick move. You wanted me to play vicious, so I got vicious. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he wanted you to play vicious. <laughs> No. Yeah, that was a chest. That was, okay. that was a side. All right, one one. That was an actual play. That was one one. When Fatty landed that hit on Robert, I kind of had to do a double take. I thought, wait, what? Fatty lands hits on Robert? I really admit, you, you've improved since our last duel, Chris. That's not that bad. I have to, I have to get serious. Okay, that was a quick. Okay, that. Okay. Like I said, I might have to I get serious. Unfortunately, Robert got the final hit in. It was a good solid jab and uh, left Fatty winded for like a couple minutes. Um, but he was fine after that. He, he, he was very tough through the whole thing. I was like, you need any water? And he's like, 
No, I'm fine. There was a very uncanny feeling in the air after the duel was over. No one really knew how to feel. Should Robert be glad that he won? Should Fatty be happy that he put up a good fight and the duel was over? No one really knew, so we just walked up the hill that we came down and, uh, and parted ways. As far as I know, that's the last time Robert and Fatty had seen each other or spoken, and uh, I have a feeling that that might be for the best. Hey, Robert! Good luck, man. Same to you. Remember, you all be, you always be a brother. Hey, Mike, hang on, I got something for you. Catch. You're welcome. They were childhood friends, but friends grow apart. Friends can change. The Robert that Fatty knew when he was two years old isn't the same Robert now that he's 22 years old. Some of us have demons. Some of us have fat. Uh, I, there's no, I, I wish I knew of a way to end this. If anything to close out on, the best words I have ever heard have come from the worst version of an old, old cartoon used to watch, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's the most recent. The main character states that his father told him, when you want to cry, laugh. When you want to frown, smile. Because it's like, why go around feeling like shit all the time? Sure, you're going to have your days, but get up. Dust yourself off, for God's sake. We're humans. We're born to get back up. I'm guessing that most people would call Airsoft Fatty cringy, but what even is cringe anymore? You know, would you call the kid who needs more dedotated wham, would you call him cringy? Um, dedotated wham. Or would you call Sammy Classic Sonic fan who's screeching about the blue hedgehog? Would you call him cringy? Bring it loud! If that's the case, then is being cringy just having the courage? to put yourself and your interests out there despite what other people think? Because if it is, then without a doubt, Airsoft Fatty is cringe. He is a cringe lord. His channel is a cringe compilation. But I respect that, because there's a lot of people out there who would be too ashamed and too embarrassed to show people what they're passionate about and what their interests are. And despite what he might think, Airsoft Fatty does go full force. In his own way, he goes all in. Someone is treating it as if they're about to die and they are putting everything behind it. Our trip to Battle Creek was extremely fun and none of it would have been possible without Airsoft Fatty and his acquaintances and his friends and his family. So a big thanks to you, Chris, and your friends and family, thank you for allowing us to come into your home and uh, being so hospitable. Let me hear your best little anakin's yippee, yippee! Oh, do like a creepy little freaky little crab walk. Dude, you can't show this. Movie magic.